Seriously? Were you ever in love with me? No. Seriously? I wasn't. Sorry. Uh, what was the least favourite thing about me? How you dress. Are you serious? I just didn't like it. I don't like it. I just don't like how you dress. You don't dress like a man. Oh, man. At what point was the relationship over for you? It must have been the bit where you cheated. That one, that one came good though, didn't it? That one came good. How many people have you slept with since me? Two. Fuck. Seriously? I need to live my life. Like, if I want sex, do what I need to do. What have you told your new significant other about me? That you're a dickhead and you're just a waste of my time. Seriously? You are a dickhead, so... What do you think of me now? After you said I'm a dickhead, I... Was... Yeah, you're pretty much a bitch then, aren't you then? I'm uh, a bitch. P p probably before that question, I would have been like, you're alright. But, I don't know, you called me a dickhead now, so... What's your biggest regrets about our relationship? Me cheating. I regret cheating on someone, but I just don't regret cheating on you. Because I don't feel that like anyone should be cheated on, but... That's how I felt at the time. Do you still love me or have feelings for me? Maybe at the beginning of the um, thing I probably did, but now I don't how know. How can that change though? Don't get yeah. it. Now I see how you actually feel. What was the worst thing I did in bed? Your sex. Your sex is kind of shit. I think that's the worst thing. Just, just couldn't please me enough. Oh. Sorry. So date master checking back in and um on piggyback from uh, my video last night about the evolution of dating so this is gonna be a part two and we're gonna continue on talking about the cancel culture that's that's taking place so again um as i stated you have the evolution of dating which is again moving into a realm where women are choosing men based upon their own ambition so the men that are selected, you again, you see, all you have to do is pay attention to what's being said and what's not being said. Women are very vocal because they feel them being vocal is going to weed out guys that don't fit the mold or it is going to make men adapt or conform. That's what a, that's that's the that's the real kicker. When a woman puts out what she's looking for, what she's not going to deal with and and using uh narratives and tones of maturity or, and using the term real and grown and things like that adjectives they they try to do that because they feel that this is the most quality or most prestige type of something so if you say this is good quality you know you say that's quality or this is great quality or real this is a real man so they'll say this to make a man judge himself or make a man question his quality so he may be good but he's not great so a woman will say well I, I need me a real man a real man will pay all of my bills a real man is gonna be there for me while I'm building whatever a real man and yada 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 so when, it, when you hear you see women posting you know their standards and what they're looking for and their requirements to date her they're basically trying to weed men that don't fit that palette off or get men to adapt and conform to what she wants because it's all about her. She's not looking to see how she can benefit your life. And I use Oprah as a reference, Oprah Winfrey. So you look at Stedman. Stedman doesn't have a big platform. For Oprah to have such a name and, and brand and, and, and businesses and things that she has, how does Stedman still remain in the shadows? She hasn't married Stedman. Stedman is a boy toy. He's an assistant to her. He assists in her self-esteem because a lot of women feel they're not complete without a man. They can talk all of this, I don't want to get married stuff and all of that, but they will play house. They will have a man coming over doing whatever she needs and wants him to do at that time. And once that's done, she can, she'll send him on his way. So she's going to use you for whatever benefits her. And her ambition and this is where the this is the next step in the evolution of dating and going in with the council culture 
if you don't fit what a woman wants and you don't, you know, cheer for certain movements and, you know, you don't stand for what she feels you should stand for, she's going to try to counsel you. And they're going to try to do it collectively. They're going to try to make it public. They're going to make it known. They have to tell someone else, which is usually going to be a beta, because a beta would, would be the only male that's going to listen to what a woman has to say negative about a man that he never met and she never had any real personal dealings with. A lot of these situations, women have a problem with guys that they don't even really know. They, they never had any personal interaction, never did any business. They may have been in a similar circle or been in the same party or room or whatever, but they never they don't they don't know each other. They don't have any personal ties or dealings, but she's going to hate it because what he stands for. It doesn't speak to her agenda and it doesn't compliment her. So they're going to take that back. They have to take it back to that group to show, hey, this I don't I don't like him. You see it. You see it all the time. They're going to tell the world that they don't like this person. And you say, well, why you don't like him? Because he 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 all this bullshit. All this bullshit. Like, well, you know, and as a man, you, well, you know, what kind of experience, what kind of experience, what, what happened, you know? And always, you know, you got they got to show some receipts. A lot of times they're going to tell you a narrative where they're the victim. Nah, show me. Show me what you're talking about. Anytime, if I have a problem with someone and I feel I want to make it known or whatever, which if I do have a problem, I got to take it. I need to take it to that person and say, hey, bro, this is, you know, this is, you know, this one right. Or, you know, if it's a woman, you know, hey, you, you did this. We're going to handle it in private if it's a true issue. But they like to put these grandiose uh, shows on to get people on board to investigate because they're going to put some bullshit out with no evidence attached to it. They're not going to have a split of evidence to show, you know, what happened between you and this guy. What happened between her and this guy? And you as a beta, you sitting up here listening to it, and you're, and you're being turned against him, and you don't even know him. Or you barely even know him. And you're going off half-ass information. You haven't discussed anything with him to get his side of the story, but you're going to play on her because she's going to uh, emotionally manipulate you. So they use this council, uh, this council culture where if you don't, you know, support my movement or support what I say or, you know, how I feel, then you're toxic. You're, you got toxic masculinity or you got, you know, you, you, you're bitter, you hate your mother and, you know, all the shaming language and shaming tactics that women have been doing. Again, you see the same rhetoric from the, from different women. You're like, well, damn, do y'all pass a memo around? Do y'all have a, 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 a consensus email to say, hey, when a guy says this, this is what you should reply with. Women have... And it's our women. Women have a fixation with men being homosexuals when they speak against a lot of the bullshit women do. And a lot of the bullshit women put men through that don't know themselves. That's beta. When women play on men and men speak about it, they have this fixation to where they want to automatically deem him as homosexual. You should see it. That's the first thing they're going to say. He's homosexual. So I got to ask, are you, do you have a fixation or do you have a, a, a obsession with homosexuality? That's a question you got to ask. Because why every time a man speaks his mind and calls women out for bullshit, you automatically want to default him as homosexual. Every time. All y'all. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all in different states, different ages. But the first thing you're going to say is he's homosexual. That's just how it goes. So, like I said, and this is the council culture to where uh, when women get in these groups and 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 throwing back, you know, names, because they talk about me and all day in these groups, who they like, who they don't like. The guys they like are the ones that's kissing ass. Those are the guys that they're going to like. Those are the guys that's going to get so much adoration, so much admiration. The guys are kissing their ass and not calling them out for bullshit, enabling that, that toxic behavior. So you got to be aware of what's going on. If you're dealing with a woman and she's not investing in you the same way you're investing in her, she's using you. That shit has to be reciprocal. It has to be reciprocated. Now, everybody's going to be dating on different levels. Some people are already there. But it's never, uh, okay, I made it and we're done. It's always work to be done. So again, it may not be tangible investments. It's going to be, you know, emotional. It's going to be time. It's going to be the support. It's going to be something that's encouraging you and helping you get to the next level that you're trying to go to. And likewise. So 
you got to be aware of what's taking place. The dynamics are changing. Women are not looking to be your help meet anymore. They don't want they don't want to be an aid to you. And another layer to this, you talk to these women, you ask them, what's your religion? A lot. Eighty percent of them are going to say Christian. Now, you do have this 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 head rap movement where these women are woke and they're conscious, but they're still dibbling and dabbling. They're still under the spell of Christianity. They're still under the under the indoctrination of Christianity. So that's why they use certain tones when I, I made a post about women proposing to men. They, they throw out Bible verses that benefit their agenda and benefit their narrative. Well, they say a man, a, a, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing, but it also says man was not created for woman. Woman was created for man. So what does your standard even matter? You're a Christian, right? So you can't pick and choose parts of the Bible that you want to abide by and ignore the shit that you don't like or don't, you know, speak to your agenda. you either all Christian. you either 100% or you're not. You're either 100% or you're 0%. But these women like to pick and choose pieces out of this book and this religion that they claim to love God and Jesus so much. But you're picking and choosing parts of this Bible that gives you instructions on how to live this life. It gives you rules and boundaries on how to live this life. But what they'll do is twist up the words and interpretations to say, well, that didn't mean that. This doesn't mean this. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So you got to be cognizant of that. You got to vet these women properly. You have to, they have to prove who they are and prove what, what, what they want to be with you. You'll find out a lot about a person, especially your women. Ask them what they want out of life. I guarantee you it's going to, it's going to be a lot of I and me. This is what I want. It's not what, this is what I want for us. This is not what I want for my family. This is what I want for me. It's all about them. And you're gonna see a lot of that. This 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 whole evolution right now, this pandemic is exposed and this pushing people into a space where it's it's it's, it's a dog, it's gonna be a dog eat dog. I post I'm gonna post a video at the beginning of this and just listen to it and listen to what the woman is saying about this gentleman. And everything she says is gonna be surface level. Nothing in depth, nothing about his integrity, nothing about his character, his loyalty, his heart. Everything is gonna be external. And this speaks to the mind of a lot of women. And these are, this is a couple in the UK. Everything is on surface level and tangible. Women don't care about internal characteristics, but they wonder why they're always single and going through heartache because you're shallow. You're shallow. Anything shallow is not going to last. It has to be deep. It's shallow. So they go from one guy to the next guy because they're only looking at surface level things. But, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the video at the beginning of this video. And uh, let me know what you think. Mr. Date Master.